Hello dear students, hope you are taking care of yourself and utilizing your time in proper studies. Now I am going to start a new chapter of maths for class 2. Chapter number 2 and the chapter's name is addition. Let us discuss on addition now. Let's revise what we have learnt about addition in standard 1. Addition means putting two or more numbers together. And this symbol is used for addition. In addition, changing the order of the numbers will not change the end result. Like four apples here, four plus one to three apples plus three is equal to altogether how many apples are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So four plus three is equal to seven. If we interchange three, one, two, three, three apples plus four apples, one, two, three, four. It remains the same, 7 apples. It does not change. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 only. Next, we'll do the concept of 0. Addition strategy, how to do 0 pattern. 0 plus any number is that same number. Example, how many birds are here? One, two, three. Three birds. How many birds are now? Number of birds came? Zero. So how many birds are now? Three birds. So three plus zero is equal to three only. It does not change. Three plus zero is equal to three. 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. It remains the same. Now, our next topic is addition of two-digit numbers. So, before doing this, you have to keep some points in your mind. The numbers we add together are called addends. And the answer we get is called the sum. For example, if we add 32 and 46 what will be the solution at first you have to begin addition from one's place which are ones in one's place this 6 and this 2 so 2 plus 6 is equal to 8 next step add the digit of tens place which are in tens place this 4 and this 3 so 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 if you arrange orderly, 3, 2, plus 4, 6. These are addends. 78 is the sum obtained. Now, when 0 is added to any number, gives the same number. Example 2, 3, 5. Plus 5, 0 is equal to 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 and 3 plus 5 is 8. So our sum obtained is 85. Another point, we should start the addition by adding digits at the ones place. Remember, we'll start adding digits at the ones place. Now, from this exercise 1, page number 28, you have to do some sums on your own. Add the following numbers. Here, the two digits, tens, ones. 3, 2, plus 3, 4. Now, you have to add at first. You know the rule. We'll begin addition from ones place. So, 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 and 3 plus 3 is equal to 6. So, this is our sum obtained. Similarly, 
you will do all these sums my dear students will do addition of three digit numbers at first we did addition of two digit numbers now we will do three digit numbers example you have to add 243 and 325 like we did previously two digits there we had only ones and tens but because here we have three digits so we'll take 100 also so hundreds tens ones this three will come under hundreds two will come under tens place and five will come under ones place similarly like this 243 now how to add ones place 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 second tens place 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 then we'll add hundreds place 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 here if we arrange orderly hundred tens ones h stands for hundreds t for tens o for ones two four three plus three two five now we'll add ones place three plus five eight four plus two six two plus three five so the sum obtained is five six eight which is read read as five hundred and sixty eight now we'll do exercise two add the following numbers we'll add the three digit numbers a 804 plus 165 now add one's place 4 plus 5 9 0 plus 6 6 you know 0 plus any number is the number itself and here 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so 969 is the sum obtained similarly you will do all these sums now we'll begin with addition of two digit numbers with carry over so here we have two numbers 2626 and 5858 at first you know the rule that you have to add the digits which are in one's place the 6 and 8 so 6 plus 8 is equal to 14 and this 2 and 5 is in tens place. Add, you have to add 2 plus 5. Now, step 1. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Here, this 1 is under tens place and 4 is in ones place. Now, when you add 6, 8, is equal to 14 this 4 will come in ones place and this 1 14 1 is carried over to tens place so this will be added in tens place earlier we had 2 plus 5 now we will add 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8 so our sum obtained will be 84 so, our step 2 is 1 plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 8. Sum obtained 84. Here is exercise 3, page number 30. Add the following with carryover. A. 4, 7 plus 2, 5. So, you know the rule. Start adding from 1's place. 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. And the 1 will be carried over to tens place. So, 1 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 7. So, our sum obtained will be 7 to 72. Similarly, we will do all the sums. Now, we will begin with addition of 3 digit numbers with carry over. So, we have 2 numbers, 467 and 348 
at first arrange the numbers digits according to the places so which are numbers in ones place 7 8 tens place 6 and 4 hundreds place 4 and 3 4 and 3 now what step 1 add the digits of ones place so 7 plus 8 is equal to 15 here we will write only 5 because this 5 is in ones place and this 1 is in tens place so this 1 will be carried over to tens place so if we add what will come 1 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 11 again we are getting two digits here so what we will do we will write one one we will write and again one will carried over to hundreds place in hundreds place again we are getting one digit so we will add one plus 4 plus 3 is equal to 8 so the sum obtained will be 815 815 8 will come in hundreds place 1 will come in tens place 5 will come in ones place now we'll do exercise 4 add the following numbers a 284 plus 327 you know the rule start adding digits from ones place 4 plus 7 is equal to 11 We'll write one. Another one will be carried over to tens place. So one plus eight nine plus two eleven. So one will write. One will be carried over to hundreds place. So one plus two three plus three six. So the sum obtained is six hundred eleven. Similarly, you will do all the sums of exercise four. Next is number two. Arrange the numbers in ascending order and add. What is ascending order? Numbers from smaller to the biggest value. So A is what? Numbers four hundred forty-five and three nine thirty-nine. So which is less three nine thirty-nine? So at first we'll write three hundred thirty-nine plus four four five four hundred. Forty-five. So, what is the answer? Here we have to add four hundred eighty-four is the sum obtained. Nine plus four five is equal to fourteen. One is carried over to tens place. One plus three four plus four eight. Here only four in hundreds place, so four. So four hundred eighty-four is the sum obtained. Next we have the word problems. Before that, I would like to tell you that you have to do all these sums accordingly. Arrange these numbers in ascending order. Like here, one hundred forty-three. Next, two hundred eighty-six plus three hundred twenty-four. Similarly, you will do C D E. Next is word problem. One example is given here. There are twenty-four boys and twenty-one girls in class two. How many students are there in all? Solution: Number of boys. How many number of boys? Twenty-four. Right? Two for twenty-four. Next, number of girls twenty-one. Number of girls is equal to twenty-one. So, our total number you add here. So, total number of students will be four five forty-five. Add four one. Five two two four forty five. Forty five students are in. Now we'll do exercise five from the word problems, page number thirty two. The first question is A. Diksha has twenty six books. Anu has eighteen books. How many books do they have in all? So you have to write the word problem. You have to write down the statements. Now how will you write down the statement? Number of books Diksha has 
ट्वेंटी सिक्स नंबर ऑफ बुक्स अनु हैज इज इक्वल टू एटीन नाउ यू हैव टू एड सिक्स प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन फोर वन इज कैरिड ओवर टू टें प्लेस सो वन प्लस टू थ्री प्लस वन फोर 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 फोर्टी फोर so the total number of books they have in all 44 answer is 44 similarly i'm giving one more example e raj has 524 stamps riya has 413 stamps how many stamps do they have all together answer number of stamps raj has 524 Number of stamps Riya has four hundred thirteen. Now add four plus three is equal to seven. Two plus one three. Five plus four nine. So the total number of stamps altogether is equal to nine hundred thirty-seven. This is the answer. So I have explained these two word problems A and E. You try to do B, C, and D on your own. Okay, it needs a lots of practice, my dear. Word problem is not very easy. It is a tough job, so you need to practice a lot in this. So practice more. So, my dear students, let me tell you one thing: that all these sums which we I have done are from the textbook. Now, what you have to do? You have to do all the sums in the textbook as well as in the workbook okay thank you and take care